Welcome to Windows Fixer. If your PC is stuck on the unmountable boot volume blue screen, it means Windows is unable to access the system drive properly. This can happen due to corrupted files, bad sectors, or incorrect boot settings. But don't worry, we're going to go step by step to fix this issue and get your PC running again. First, restart your PC and see if it boots up normally. Sometimes this error can be a one-time glitch and a simple restart might fix it. If that doesn't work and you're still seeing the blue screen, we'll need to troubleshoot. Since Windows isn't booting, we can't just open Command Prompt as an administrator. Instead, we'll enter Windows Recovery Mode to run the necessary commands. If your PC automatically enters Automatic Repair Mode, restart it a few times. After three failed boot attempts, Windows should load the Automatic Repair screen. Click on Advanced Options, then Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options again, and finally, open Command Prompt. If your PC doesn't enter recovery mode automatically, you'll need a Windows bootable USB or DVD. Insert the USB or DVD, then restart your PC. When the Windows setup screen appears, select your language and click Next. At the bottom left, click on Repair your computer instead of installing Windows. Now go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and Open Command Prompt. Once you have Command Prompt open, type the following command and press Enter. CHKDESK space slash R space C colon. This will scan the C drive for errors and repair any bad sectors. This process may take some time depending on your hard drive size. Once it's done, restart your PC and check if Windows boots properly. If CHKDSK didn't help, we'll repair the boot files using the boot rec tool. Open command prompt from Windows recovery mode and type these commands one by one, pressing enter after each. Boot rec space slash fix MBR, then boot rec space slash fix boot, then boot rec space slash scanos, then boot rec space slash rebuild BC. If you see any errors after running boot rec space slash fix boot, type this additional command. Boot sect space slash NT60 space sys. Once done, restart your PC and check if Windows boots normally. If your BIOS settings are misconfigured, your PC might not detect the hard drive properly. Instead of manually adjusting settings, resetting BIOS to default is the easiest fix. Restart your PC and immediately start pressing either F2, F12, Delete, or Escape depending on your motherboard to enter BIOS. Once inside the BIOS menu, look for an option like Load Default Settings, Reset to Default, or Load Optimize Defaults. This varies depending on your motherboard. Select it, confirm the reset, and then save changes and exit. Your PC will restart, check if Windows boots up properly. If none of the above fixes worked, a loose or faulty SATA cable might be causing the issue. Turn off your PC completely and unplug it from power. Open your PC case and locate your hard drive. Check the SATA cable connecting your hard drive to the motherboard and make sure it's securely plugged in. If possible, Try using a different SATA port on your motherboard or replace the cable. Close the case, power on your PC, and check if the error is gone. If nothing has worked so far, your hard drive might be failing. To check, remove the hard drive from your PC. Connect it to another computer using a SATA to USB adapter or directly via a SATA port. If the second PC also fails to read the drive, it's likely failing and may need to be replaced. If you've tried everything and still can't fix the issue, the last resort is to reinstall Windows. You can do this using the same Windows installation USB or DVD we used earlier. Boot from the USB or DVD, click on Install Now, and follow the on-screen instructions. Choose the option to keep files if you don't want to lose your data. Complete the installation and check if the error is resolved. Alright, that's it. Hopefully one of these methods helped you fix the unmountable boot volume error and get your PC running again. If this guide worked for you, drop a like and subscribe for more Windows fixes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.